Hello and welcome to Revelers Through the Universe to another episode or maybe a series. No, no, no. Uh, we are just being stupid again with this MTG card maker. So last time we had Commander Keen, but this time I think you all expected it. Or maybe not, I don't know. Mortimer McMire, the big arc enemy of Commander Keen, aka Billy Plays, and maybe I'm a little bit dead in my voice, and there's some truth behind that. I am very, very done with this day, but not completely finished. So, we will make our good friend Mortimer McMire, I have no idea. I just picked this picture because uh, it could be him. Uh, I am not really sure uh, if it's supposed to be Mortimer McMire, but uh, I, I guess we are going be uh, we are going to be fine. So yeah, I'm a little bit dead, but that's no hindrance. So we will call him, of course, Mortimer McMire. Is it spelled right? I guess it is. But that alone is not not enough. That's not enough. Mortimer McMire um Masterful Puppet Pup. Masterful Pup. Um okay. Then we will cut the McMire. I have no idea why uh, we are so limited. Puppeteer. Mortimer Masterful Puppeteer. I, I guess that sounds epic. Uh, this guy is a little bit more expensive than Kumanakin. I have no idea why I'm... We will go with... Uh, we will go with uh, two. Mm, two, two, two. Mm, a plaque and a red or plaque because uh, commander. No, no. Uh, sorry, my uh, my mistake. My bad. Um, Mortimer is mostly uh, the guy who is evil because he's evil, uh, if that makes any sense. And uh, because he's so evil, he must be most evil. But actually, in Commander, in Commander Keen, actually in Magic, sorry, I'm pretty dead. But it's fine, that's fine. In uh, Magic the Gathering, Black is not necessarily bad or evil it's just the color of uh, sacrifice uh, destruction and uh, death itself so yeah some bad things mostly bad things but not really evil so shoes of frame um I mean, technically, it must be full art, full art, legendary. I, hmm, most likely red, black, legend. That's that's some. Yeah, that's metal. That's really metal. Okay. <clears throat> The picture doesn't fit at all. Uh, auto fit? Uh, not really. Okay, we will make it smaller. Okay. No, 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 that will not work. No, 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 no. I have no idea. Uh, okay, 
We go with that. It's fine. Uh, it doesn't need to look perfect. Uh, maybe there should be a cut. Okay. I cannot choose something that's more fitting. I would like to have this uh, red black legend just with a white box. Uh, how does that look? Awful. Really, really awful. Okay, it's fine. We'll, we will go with uh, this one and take that to. I guess that's okay. No. Uh, okay. Now it's even bigger than before, if that makes any sense. Okay, okay, that, that will not work. Okay, let's focus on the text instead. I mean, we will not make it fit, uh, but the arts Hat is really, really big. Why it's so big? Uh, uh, better. So it's a card type. Actually, it's a creature. Uh, subtype. Um, obviously, human. Uh, what what's a good subtype? Human. Mm, I have no idea. Tyron. Human Tyron. Uh, I I I don't know. Okay, uh, he is of course a mystic rare. And uh, do we have some evil, evil stuff here? Um, Hour of Devastation, that sounds pretty neat. So, what does he do? <clears throat> Besides not really fitting into the frame. Let me think for a moment. At the beginning of your upkeep, okay. control of target creature. You don't control? No, no, no. We don't want to be too restrictive. Uh, of target creature. It gains haste. No. Untap it. Uh, it gains haste until end of turn. That's actually a pretty strong effect. Uh, but uh, why not though? Um, it looks awful though. Uh, I guess... Uh, mm, that will do. It's not very readable, mostly because of the background. So, but we are not finished. We are not finished. At the beginning of your upkeep, gain control of target creature, untap it. It gains haste until end of turn. It's actually pretty a powerful effect. Uh, include power toughness. He's like Commander Keen uh, 3-1. Um, 
I mean a four mana for an actual uh, three one is pretty pretty awful. Uh, I, I mean four mana for three one is actually brutal, but it's fine. It's fine. So we will focus on the second ability. Creatures you control, but you do not own have or has. I should have listened in school. Um, you own have hex hex proof. Was it uh, written this way? Ah, maybe. Uh, was that one word? I'm not sure. Ah, uh, maybe it's uh, correct. So, at the beginning of your upkeep, gain control of target creature, untap it. It gains haste until end of turn. Creatures you control but do not own have hexproof and double strike. As long. As long you control a creature you do not own. Okay, that's uh, too much text, I guess. Um, can I shrink it that way? Okay, it's not readable anymore. Okay. Um, maybe uh, it's uh, too much text. Maybe I should. Um, uh, I wanted to go with the route that uh, Mortimer has indestructible, so he cannot be killed uh, if you control a creature you do not own. So, uh, to explain at least a little bit this time, I cannot speak anymore, but that's fine. Um, controlling a creature just means that you control the creature in game. Besides the in-game rules, uh, your deck and your cards uh, is uh, a thing you own. So, if you take control of another creature of, uh, uh, from your opponent, or your opponents, in the commander format where you have multiple opponents, um, you do not really own the creatures. You just take them in this game and control them as long you have a certain effect, in this case uh, the effect of Mortimer itself. So um, I, I guess uh, this effect is pretty strong. I mean he's actually still a 3-1 that can be killed by anything. But uh, I guess uh, that could be fine. Uh, I would add uh, a little effect that would uh, make him worthwhile. I have no idea. Uh, maybe uh, an effect where you can pay life to give uh, Mortimer indestructible so he cannot be killed. Uh, but yeah, this, the effect itself is pretty strong. Uh, gaining control of an opposing uh, creature um, just uh, just for the fact that you that your turn starts is uh, actually very strong and uh, the effect that cards uh, uh, actual creature you you control but do not own gain uh, additional abilities uh, is actually uh, a little bit messed up but um, if I can uh, recall there's nothing like that in the game game currently but I could be wrong but um, 
maybe I should uh, add something more, but yeah, I, I would say Mortimer is uh, pretty strong uh, at this point. Um, besides that little space here, um, I mean, maybe really full art or just a text here would be more fitting, but yeah, I guess Mortimer Masterful Puppeteer is actually a great card. I would have loved if I could have written Mortimer McMeyer Masterful Puppeteer. Uh, that would be actually very, very cool. But if you listened so far, you should definitely check out my essay video about Mortimer McMeyer, the Puppeteer. I mean, it's. Uh, an essay, uh, essay? <laughs> an essay from me uh, where I spent I guess 10 hours making it so um, if you're interested in essay about Commander Keen you should definitely check that out and yes maybe in the future there will be essays again but for now too less time and too much work but Still, as always, greetings to the sun and I hope you have a great weekend. See you soon.